Hi everyone, I'm behind the camera today because I wanted to share with you a book. A book that we got a long time ago. Do you remember these scholastic book services? You get those little papery flyers and you get to pick books. Well, this is one of those books from the scholastic book services. It's That's What Friends Are For. And by it's by Florence Perry Hyde and Sylvia Worth Van Cleef. And it's illustrated by Brinton Turkle. I love that name. So you can see it's it's been through some life here. See, so it has all the information in Scholastic Book Services. The copyright originally is 1968. I was not in school in 1968. So here's our story. Theodore the Elephant is sitting in the middle of the forest. He has hurt his leg. What a pity! Today, Theodore was going to meet his cousin at the end of the forest. What can I do, Theodore says. My cousin is at the end of the forest, and here I am in the middle of the forest. And I have a bad leg, and I can't walk. I know what I'll do, Theodore says. I'll ask my friends for advice. That's what friends are for. Along comes Theodore friend, Theodore's friend, the bird. Why are you sitting here in the middle of the forest? asks the bird. Because I have a bad leg, and I can't walk, and I can't meet my cousin at the end of the forest, says Theodore. If I had a bad leg, I would fly to the end of the forest, says the bird to Theodore. It's nice of you to give advice, says Theodore to the bird. That's what friends are for, says the bird. Along comes theater friend, theater's friend, the Daddy Longlegs. Why are you sitting here in the middle of the forest, asks the Daddy Longlegs. Because I have a bad leg, and I can't walk, and I can't fly, and I can't meet my cousin at the end of the forest, says Theodore. If I had a bad leg says the Daddy Longlegs. I could walk anyhow because I have seven other legs. It's nice of you to give advice, says Theodore. That's what friends are for, says the Daddy Longlegs. Along comes Theodore's friend, the monkey. Why are you sitting here in the middle of the forest? asks the monkey. Because I have a bad leg. And I can't walk, and I can't fly, and I don't have seven other legs, and I can't meet my cousin at the end of the forest, says Theodore. If I had a bad leg, says the monkey, I would swing by my tail from the trees like this. Well, says Theodore, I may have a very weak tail, but I have a very strong trunk. Theodore grabs a branch of the tree with his trunk. Crash! Oh, he's upside down. Well, anyhow, says Theodore, thank you for your advice. That's what friends are for, says the monkey. He's still upside down. Along comes Theodore's friend, the crab. What's a crab doing in the forest? Why are you lying down in the middle of the forest? asked the crab. Because I have a bad leg, and I can't walk, and I can't fly, and I don't have seven other legs, and I can't swing from trees by my tail or my trunk, and I can't make my cousin at the end of the forest, says Theodore. If I had a bad leg, says the crab, I would get rid of it and grow another one. It's nice of you to give advice, says Theodore. That's what friends are for, says the crab. Along comes Theodore's friend, the lion. Why are you sitting here in the middle of the forest, asks the lion. Because I have a bad leg, and I can't walk, and I can't fly, and I don't have seven other legs, and I can't swing from trees by my tail or my trunk, and I can't grow another leg. 
But I can't meet my cousin at the end of the forest, says Theodore. If I had a bad leg, says the lion, I would roar so loud that everyone in the whole forest would hear me and come running to see what was the matter. And he roars. And I love his <laughs> scared, crinkly trunk. What's all that noise? The opossum asks. He is hanging upside down by his tail. Theodore's friends all begin to talk at once. Theodore can't fly, said this bird. And he can't get to the end of the forest to see his cousin, says the lion. We're giving him advice. That's what friends are for. Nonsense, says the possum. Friends are to help. Bring the cousin to Theodore. So all the friends go to find Theodore's cousin at the end of the forest. The whole parade. And they bring the cousin to Theodore. Theodore and the cousin and all the friends are having a party. Thank you for helping me, says Theodore to his friends. That's what friends are for, says the friends. I love their, their hats. They have their, they have the pirate hat. And here you go. The moral of the story. To give advice is very nice, but friends can do much more. Friends should always help a friend. That's what friends are for. So... If you want to share that with a child in your life or take the advice for yourself. Remember, talk only goes so far, but actually doing is what counts the most. So have a great day. I'm just going to stay here behind the camera today. <laughs> and subscribe if you haven't to. Finger, button, subscribe. Thumbs up. Say hi. Tell me, did you enjoy this story? Do you have any stories about where your friends just talked and they didn't do? I'm a doer. I'm not a talker. So be great. Be wonderful to each other. And I will talk to you and perhaps see you later. Bye-bye.